Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Renee Roden. If you have not already, please like, comment, and subscribe and hit the notification bell. I will be doing an entire manicure to show you how I care for me at home in the most simple, affordable, and time efficient way. I created this full set candy corn themed look in a separate video and I did angry pumpkin on my toes. The videos will be linked above and in the description box. Let me show you how I go from this to this. Let's roll right into this mani. It's mani time. I'm allowing the water to reach a rolling boil. The footage of me putting the products in the water didn't record, but I am adding in a snippet from the patty video and using the exact same products for the manicure. I am adding room temperature water and then the boiling hot water to a heat safe dish. These are all the products that I will be using today and they will be listed in the description box. The first product is a 1 4th cup of Epsom salt and give it a nice stir. Next is 1 4th cup of lemon juice. Then I'm adding 1 4th cup of the vanilla brown sugar bubble bath to the mix and creating bubbles. The only difference is I used a glass bowl for the mani. Once my hands are in, I will enjoy the soak for 15 minutes. Here are all the tools that I will be using for this manicure. Everything will be listed below. Don't forget to also have a cloth or paper towel to dry your hands. I'm using a double-sided pumice foot stone file to further scrub off the dead skin and I'm only using the smooth side. I'm moving the dish to the side just for a moment. I'm using the B Natural Cuticle Eliminator and applying it all over the cuticles. I have a wooden cuticle pusher but I prefer using the rounded end of the stainless steel nail file to push back the cuticle. I'm wiping off the extra product and dead skin into a napkin. I'm using the cuticle nipper cutter to cut straight across the dry and dead cuticle. I'm also taking it further to remove the ingrown nails and any hangnails with the equate nipper for ingrowns. Use the file if you need to push the cuticle back more. Now that it's dry, it is much easier. Then I'm using the cuticle trimmer to clean downwards on the skin fold just to get off old dry skin. I'm using a large straight edge toenail clip instead of a curved edge fingernail clip to cut the nail straight across for a clean look. You can file down your nails, but I feel like I don't need to with the cut that this gives. I'm using the Mary Kay Satin Hands. It's a satin smoothie refinishing shea scrub and I am massaging it into my skin. I am then adding in some Epsom salt for extra exfoliation. I have my hands back in the water and I'm rinsing well, then drying with a rough paper towel. They look good so far and this is the end of a regular mani, but I am going to dip powder the nails and the first step is to use a soft file or nail buff to get the shine off of the nails. You can use an e-file as well, which I actually prefer. I'm going over the entire nail, but not penetrating it. I have a container of nails. These are long length with a curve overlap. I am using the Kiss nail glue to apply the artificial tips. Then I'm trimming the ends with the nail tip clipper. I'm using the Diamond Cosmetics nail file with the harder grit. I am holding the file at the corner of the nail and I'm filing down this curve and creating a squared out ballerina shape. I'm using the smoothing bit to make the fake nail and my nail flush with each other. 
but don't sand down your natural nail. I'm using a fluffy brush to dust off the nails. I am using the Muddalones Nail Dehydrator and I am applying it to the natural nail. This will allow for the removal of natural oils and to help the powder adhere to the nails. If you skip this step, you may experience cracking and lifting. I have my Muddalones Dip Powder in 01 Translucent. I'm rolling the powder so it's not clumped. I have this fingertip art nail recycling system. It helps us not waste or contaminate the entire powder. To apply this, I'm using the Model Loans 2-in-1 base and top coat. I'm applying the base horizontally at the midpoint of the nail to build the apex. We put a lot of pressure and stress on this area and it's likely to break the longer that your nails are. You just want to make sure that this area is secure. I'm pouring the powder and then brushing off with that fluffy brush. I'm applying the base at the midpoint of the nail and staying away from the corners. I'm bringing it all the way down the length of the nail and capping the tips. Hold the finger at a 45 degree angle, allowing the powder to waterfall off of the nail and not sit on top of it. Then I'm tapping the powder off. I did the same thing to the others and here they are with the first coat. Now I'm applying our second coat just a little higher than the first and bringing it down to the tip. and then pouring the powder, tapping, and brushing away. Now applying the third coat as close to the cuticle as possible while still avoiding contact with the cuticles and the skin. Make sure to apply thin even layers of base. For the fourth coat, I'm applying it in the same spot where the third coat started. Don't bring it any closer to the cuticle or the product will bond to your skin. You want this extra layer to give room for when you file. And it adds more durability to the nail. Pour and then tap. I'm using a toothpick to clean up the cuticle area and any product on the skin. Brush the nails off completely free of powder. I'm applying the Model Loans Activator. This is what will harden the nails. It dries and hardens in about 10 to 15 minutes, depending on if you use a fan. You can use a nail file or any hard tool to tap the nails. Listen to the tapping to hear when your nails are dry. I'm now filing down the corners of the nails to get rid of any bulk. I'm holding the skin down with the middle finger to be able to get deep in the corners and not file away any skin. I'm now filing the tip straight across. Then holding the file vertically, I'm filing the mid portion of the front of the nail to get a more defined squared end. Boom! All the nails have been filed and brush away the dust. I have my Cronova e-file from Amazon. You can use a nail file to shape the nails. This is just so much more time efficient and gives a more polished look. I've got it on a low setting and I'm using my shaping tool making small strokes. Cleaning the corner areas following around the natural curve of the cuticle and nail folds. With the hand holding the file, use the pinky as a placeholder on the finger you're working on so that you don't lose control of your e-file. I have my buffing tool to smooth any bumps and ridges over the entire nail, backing away from the area that we just filed. If you applied four thin layers over just two bulky layers, it should be super simple to file. Make sure to use all parts of your bit.
they are all looking good already. I added my hardest grit sanding band to my emery tool to clean up the nails and give it symmetry. With that same tool, I'm filing down the sides of the nail and diminishing any curves. Brush away the dust. You can leave your nails how they are or paint them. For this look, I did candy corn themed nails for Halloween. If you'd like to see how I achieved the entire design, that video will be linked. Whether you used regular nail polish, acrylic paint, or you did dip powder nails, make sure to perfect this look with a top coat, whether it's glossy or matte. I'm applying the Modelone's 2-in-1 base and top coat to seal the colors and give it a glossy finish. Don't forget to cap the end of the nails so the colors don't chip. The bond will dry in 5 minutes and does not need to be cured. I have my Mary Kay Satin Hands, the Perfecting Softener, which is like Vaseline, and the Nourishing Shade Cream, which is a buttery lotion. I'm smoothing it into my hands. I'm adding shine to the moisture that we have already. I actually use this oil on a daily basis over using the Mary Kay Satin Hands. This is the lovely Myrrh Anointing Oil. It smells fantastic and you'll feel even more blessed after using it. I am using DFI Aging Cuticle Oil and using a cuticle applicator brush to get it into the crevices. This is the final look for the manicure. I really hope you enjoyed how we got two beautiful nails and soft hands. Don't forget to check out how I painted this look and the set that I did on my feet. I will see you all in the next video. Bye for now.